museums on Earth. By day, visitors come to see the treasures within, but by night, it's a different story. children approaching. They're here. Welcome to the British Museum. You're about to embark on a wondrous adventure, one you shall never forget. I'm Agatha, your tour guide. I'm here to help and assist you every step of the way. Now, I'm looking for three more guardians for the museum. Are you feeling brave? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Jolly good. Well, who do we have here? What are your names? Mark. Wallace. Rochelle. Ah, where have you come from? Birmingham! You must be wondering why you've been summoned here in the middle of the night. Listen carefully. You have just one night to discover the secrets and mysteries of a relic held deep within these walls. You will face three challenges. Each challenge will unlock a vision about your relic. Pass a challenge, and you will all see the vision. Fail, and the vision will be revealed to just one of you, and you will have only their memory to rely on. Your knowledge of the three visions will be tested in the final battle when you come face to face with the Dark Lord. Succeed, and you will become guardians of the museum and receive the Golden Scarab. Fail, and you will become relics yourselves and part of the museum forever. Agatha! <laughs> That's the Dark Lord! He knows you're here, and he'll be sending his dark forces to seek you out. We're not safe here any longer, chaps. It's time for your first challenge. Follow me! Yes! Beware of my dark forces. It's going to be a long, dark night. <laughs> Are we all all right? Yeah. yeah. We must keep our wits about us. Now, to learn about your relic, you must first unlock a vision. And to do that, you must complete a challenge. So, gather round, stick together, hold on tight, off we go. Oh! Oh! Goodness me! Now, have any of you ever time travelled before? No. No, no it's no. jolly exhilarating, isn't it? Unless oh. I'm wrong, this pyramid belongs to Tlaloc. He was the Aztec god of rain. Now, the Aztecs worshipped him because he sent rain for the harvest. But he can be very temperamental, and sometimes he would send floods and storms as well. He's very moody, so we mustn't wake yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> now, your challenge, team, is to complete this pyramid puzzle. The colours on the side will light up if you connect them correctly. But beware. If you hear a thunderclap, that means you've woken Tlaloc. And you must run over to these plinths, lie down and freeze. The clock will stop. He might come in and cause all sorts of havoc. And beware, one of you could be picked out at random at any time and taken out of the game. Once he's gone, the clock will continue. Now, you must have a completed pyramid at the end of 90 seconds in order to pass. Now, if you pass, all three of you will get to see the vision. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you will see the vision. But you have just 90 seconds and you can go in three, two, one, go! We've got to work together as a team on this one. Jolly good. Make sure the sides all match. Jolly good, we've got blue here, green there. Blue, green, jolly good. It's doing very well. Work together, team. Oh my goodness, you must have woken him. Hi, hi, hi! Sure, all the colours are right. 
You can search That's that it. last piece. There's another piece. You need to search for it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Quick, hide! Oh, so close. Here comes Clarlock. <laughs> He's taken Mark. Come along, ladies. Now, Yay! Mark was very good with the colours, so make sure you make sure that the colours oh, match. Yeah. Come along. There's blue. Yes. Blue. and do as I say. Does that make sense? Yeah. Jolly good. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. The vision begins. Where are we? Portugal. Look, a king. This must be King Manuel. He's received a gift from India. What can it be? A rhinoceros. Never before has he set his eyes on such a magnificent beast. I sense excitement. The king wants to see it fight an elephant. The crowd is cheering. Look, the elephant. It's backing off. It's refusing to fight. It flees. King Manuel is furious. He screams and shouts. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. So, we all saw the first vision, so what do you remember? The oh, King Manuel, yeah. and he was in Portugal. Mm -hmm. And he, want, he likes the rhino. It's a present. He'd never seen it before, and he wanted it to fight with the elephant, but he wouldn't. the elephant would have fought and it fleed. What do you think the relic might be, the relic that you are seeking? Maybe something to do with the king or the animals that yeah. they're fighting. Well, maybe all will be revealed in the next two visions. In the meantime, remember everything that you've seen, chaps. It will come in very handy when you meet the Dark Lord. Now, I can sense some dark forces approaching. We must be on our way. Are you ready, chaps? Yeah. Yay. Good, then follow me. Come along, this way. All three of you have seen the vision, but now it's time to split you up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, bring the girl to me. Run! Get the children! Oh, oh, that was terrifying. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It was so scary. Even I feel jittery. Now, you were very good in your first challenge. Are you ready for your next? Yeah. yeah. Oh, jolly good, that's the spirit. So, grab a hold, nice and tight, quickly, quickly. Are you ready? Yeah. Jolly good, off we go. <sighs> now, where are we? Wow. It looks like we're in ancient China. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, Should get some of this for my house. I mean, except I don't live in a house, I live in the museum. Okay. Right. Come along, come along, chaps. Now, that looks like a nice place to sit. Why don't you take a seat there? Jolly good. Now, your challenge. Now, the spirits of four dragons have been trapped in four of these blocks of wood. It is your challenge, team, to free them. Now, you do that by taking one of the blocks of wood and placing it on this plinth and then giving it your best martial arts chop. Now, if a dragon isn't there, it will look rather like this. And one of the lanterns will light. Now. You must free all four dragons in 60 seconds in order to pass. 
Now, I hardly need to remind you that if you pass, all three of you will get to see the vision. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you will get to see the vision. Oh. So let's make this one a pass, chaps. Now, does all that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Right, who's going to go first? Mark, You're going yeah. to go first, Mark? Mark? OK, in which case, standing up. In that case, you can go in three, two, one, go! Come on, Mark! That's it, you can see her over there, ladies. Come on! Mark. Oh, that's no, that's bad luck, OK. Oh. Good, Come on, right there, that was excellent Come chopping. On, Come on, you can... Come on, Come you've got a lot of Come blocks on. to get through. That's Come on. Stronger. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. Michelle, go, go, go. Woo. Good encouragement. Very Do good. it, Sandy. You can. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very well done, team. Come on. Three more to find. Oh, oh, dear. Come along. Come along now. One's going to be a lucky one. Indeed. Oh, team, you only freed three dragons. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Only one can yeah. see the vision, but it's not <gasps> the end of the world. Don't worry. You just have to choose someone with a very good memory. OK, now you have to decide as a team who that person's going to be. Who do you think? I, mean, oh, I, don't, um, I don't mind. I'll do it. Okay, well, Wallace yeah, is going yeah, to do it. Yeah, Wallace okay. is going to do it. OK, in which case, Mark and Michelle, come here. Oh. You won't bite, I promise. Not much, anyway. OK, I'm, I'm going to send you back to the museum, OK? Hold on to the torch. That's it. And watch out for those dark forces, OK? Where are we? <sighs> did, you, did you just feel that? So, Wallace, the whole team is relying on you, and so... You have to remember everything you see in this vision. Now, I will simply say a rhyme, you do as I say, and you put your hand on the torch. Does that make sense? Yep. Jolly good. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes, and see! The vision begins. Time has passed, and a decision has been made. King Manuel wants to send the rhino to Rome. But why? Ah, he wishes to gain favour with the Pope. The rhino's long journey to Italy begins. The ship sets sail. <gasps> Danger! I sense a storm approaching. A abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! I fear a great tragedy. The rhino's gone. The ship is no more, and the rhino is lost to the sea forever. The image is fading. We're going back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. <sighs> OK, so, Wallace, you and you alone have seen the second vision. <gasps> oh, and here are your teammates. Team, Wallace has seen the second vision. Tell them everything that you remember. Well, from where we left off, the King Manuel has sent the rhinoceros to Rome because he wants to gain favour with the Pope. But he sent them on a ship and the, the rhino was in a cage. But a storm came while they were at sea. And they were going to abandon ship, but they couldn't get the rhino out. So the ship got sunk into the sea and the rhino kind of died. Now, do we know what the relic is yet? Maybe something to do with the boat. Yes, yes it's not clear yet, is it? Ah, well, maybe it will become clear in the third and final vision. Until then, remember everything that Wallace has told you. That will come in very handy when you meet the Dark Lord in the final battle. And remember, you must answer three of his questions correctly to receive the Golden Scarab and become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you will belong to the Dark Lord forever. We don't want that, do we? No. On to your next challenge, chaps. This way. Follow me. Can you remember all that Wallace told you? It's getting late, and you must be getting tired. <laughs> right, it's time for your final challenge. So, hold on nice and tight, chaps. Native America, here we come. Off we go. Oh, goodness me. 
Goodness, that plays havoc with a lady's hair, let me tell you. <sighs> oh, well, welcome to North America and this rather splendid-looking teepee. Now, I'm going to call on the ancient ancestors of the Native American people to send us three objects. Now, you must decide what they use those objects for. Now, for each of the objects, I will give you three definitions. You have to decide which one is correct. Now, you must get at least two right in order to pass. And remember, if you pass, all three of you can see the vision. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you can see the vision. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Jolly good. In that case, it's time for the first object. Ancient ancestors, please send us the first object. Now, what do you think that might be? Here you go. Have a good look. I can give you some definitions. Here we go. Is it a backpack used for carrying heavy loads? Could be. Could, could Is be. it a baby carrier or cradle board, which I think one of you said, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Or is it a sledge that would use to speed down piles of sand? It looks like it would go more over your front than a onto your back. A baby won't be comfortable in that. Yeah, because it's back. That. I think backpack. Backpack. Yeah, backpack. backpack. Yeah. You're going for backpack? Yeah. yeah. Pass it to me. OK. Do you think this is a backpack? On to the second item. Ancient ancestors, please send us the second object. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. It's been like a pipe. It is. So, is it a rain stick used to call for rain during periods of drought? Or is it an instrument used to help someone breathe underwater? Or is it a device doctors use to try to capture a sick person's soul? Doctor's one sounds a bit strange. Rain stick? Rain, rain stick, stick. I think you just sure going, going with rain stick. Yeah. Rain stick. OK. And here's your second object. A rain stick. Last object. Ancient ancestors, please send us the third object. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Like a brush. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a brush. Does yeah, a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you think it is a broom for sweeping away sand from outside homes? Or is it a hairbrush made from porcupine's quills? Or is it a spiky tool used to herd buffalo? Mm -hmm. I don't think it will be a hairbrush of porcupine. It's a bit big. No, it's yeah, a hairbrush, plus, you know. if it's porcupine, it's really sharp. Well, I definitely think it's I a think broom. it's a broom. Probably a broom, yeah. Broom. Okay, have you made a decision? Cap yeah, because yeah. that yep. captured And you're going with broom. 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 You think it is a broom for sweeping away sand from outside homes. We'll place wow. that there. So, that's all three decisions made. Mm -hmm. So, starting with the first one, you thought it was a backpack used for carrying heavy loads. Actually, a baby carrier or cradle board. Oh, that's disappointing, team. Last one as well. Oh, dear. Never mind. Now, the next one you said was a rain stick used to call for rain during periods of drought. It was a device doctors use to try to capture a sick person's soul. It was a soul catcher. Oh, then dear. Again, I'm not blaming anyone. Well, that's now. too wrong, which yeah. means you failed. But let's just check the third one. So you thought it was a broom for sweeping away sand outside homes. Let's see what it actually was. It was a <laughs> hairbrush made from porcupine oh. quills. Oh. oh, dear. Now, only one of you can see the vision. All you need to do is choose someone with a really good memory. Who will it be? I think Michelle, because uh, she'll probably remember it. Yeah. Jolly good. Rochelle, so that means I need to send Wallace and Mark back to the museum. Excuse me. There we go. OK. Now, hold on to the torch. I'll send you back to the museum. I'll be back shortly, though. Watch out for the dark forces. Where are we? Oh, we're just back at the museum. Right. Oh, I wonder how Rochelle's getting on. Maybe it's us I'm worried about. <gasps> So, Rochelle, uh -huh. the entire team is relying on you. It is all down to you. Yeah. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. Where are we? 
Germany, the 16th century. And, ah, an artist at work. It's Albrecht Dürer. But what's he drawing? It's a... It's the rhino. He must have heard a description of it. I sense a print is being made. Yes, Dürer's drawing of the rhino is being carved into fruit wood. Now, thousands of copies of his design can be produced. Immortalized in print, the rhino's incredible story will live on forever. The image is fading. We're going back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Oh, okay. So, that was the third and final vision, and you and you alone, Rochelle, saw it. Do you think you can remember everything about it? Tell your teammates? Yeah, I think so. Oh, jolly yeah. good. Oh, team, quickly, in, in. Right, Rochelle, tell them everything that you remember. But well, everything was in Ger Germany, and the man is called Albrecht Dürer. And he was carving the rhino in the fruit wood, so everyone can remember what the value of the rhino in the story. So maybe Dürer's rhinoceros is the relic that we are seeking. You must remember everything that she's told you. Let's just hope that your knowledge of Dürer's rhinoceros is enough to defeat the Dark Lord. It's time for your final battle, chaps. Follow me, this way! <laughs> it's time. Okay, this is it. This is your final battle. I do hope you defeat the Dark Lord, chaps. I just need to summon him. Oh. The moon shines bright and darkness reigns. I bring three children here again. Their minds are sharp, the vision's seen. Dark Lord, awake! We challenge thee! <laughs> Agatha! These three children from Birmingham, they're no match for me. Look at them. <laughs> they have done very well tonight, actually. Silence! Do you think they have the knowledge to defeat me? Yes. yes, easy. As you wish, let the battle commence. Three visions you have seen about a relic held within these walls. I shall ask you questions about what you have seen. Three correct answers will earn your freedom, and you will become guardians of the museum. Three incorrect answers, and you shall never leave. You will become relics yourselves, and remain here for all time. It's time for the first question. Mark, step forward. What was the name of the Portuguese king? <laughs> King Manuel. Let us see. Look, a king. This must be King Manuel. Yes, yes, yes. You still need two more, child. It's one question right. Just two more of those, and you've defeated him. Let's see who's next. Morris, step forward. Good luck. The rhinoceros was originally from which country? Rome. Let us see. He's received a gift from India. A rhinoceros. The correct answer was India. Now your teammate belongs to me. <laughs> That's one question right and one question wrong. Two more incorrect answers, and the Dark Lord wins! Rochelle, step forward. Rochelle, Rochelle. King Manuel sent the rhinoceros to which city? Is it Portugal? Let us see. 
King Manuel wants to send the Rhino to Rome. The correct answer was Rome. Now you join Wallace. That's two to me. <laughs> You've lost both your teammates. Just one more question wrong, and I'm afraid it's curtains. You need two more questions right to defeat him. It's all down to you. Good luck. Mark, step forward. What type of wood was the drawing of the rhino carved into? Fruit wood. Let us see. The drawing is carved into fruit wood. Your final question. Get it right, you win and free your team. Get it wrong, you fail and belong to me. What was the full name of the artist who drew the rhinoceros from description alone? Albrecht Dürer. Let us see. An artist at work. It's Albrecht Dürer. <laughs> No! Beaten by one child! Well done! Your knowledge of Dura's rhinoceros has defeated the Dark Lord! Look! No! And see, your teammates are returned to you! <laughs> Very well done, team! You are now guardians of the museum. And as such, you are rewarded with this. Golden Scarab. These amulets are awarded to only those few who prove themselves worthy on a night such as this. Take good care of them, for you never know when you shall be called on again. Ah, oh, and now I'm afraid it looks like it's dawn, and it's time for you to leave. So, Wallace. Thank you. Mark. Thanks very much. And Rochelle. Thank you. Guardians of the museum, farewell. Yes. To defeat the Dark Lord, it's just really amazing. I mean, if you're over the moon, it's just the best feeling ever. Mark, you rock and you save the day. It feels like I'm king of the world. Oh, what a triumph! Three much-deserved guardians of the museum and a defeated Dark Lord. Well, my work here is done. But if those dark forces should return, I might need your help. Until then, dear friends, following on. Do you have what it takes to become a guardian of the museum? Play the relic game and find out. Watch for clues and answer the quizzes correctly to return all the lost relics to the museum and print off your very own certificate. Go to the CBC website, now! I've been offered a job in London. Decisions must be made. So I'm leaving. Let's put this in our place. Questions must be answered. One becomes all, but the blood of a warrior. Fears must be overcome. Not leaving your lives. Spirit Beast will never be yours! The incredible final episodes of Tracy Beaker Returns and Spirit Warriors. CBBC's Finale Friday. Sky! Must See TV, Friday from 5.15 on the CBBC channel. The other day I bumped into Steve Brackshaw at the zoo and he shouted, Don't miss my show on the CBBC channel at 5.15 on Thursdays. And I replied, I won't. Now get off that lion. <laughs>